Thousands flee a volcano in the Philippines fearing a possible violent eruption, hot, ground-hugging flows of volcanic ash and debris began cascading down the slopes of Mayan volcano, a 1.5-mile high volcano, the most active one in the Philippines, in a peninsular region around 202 miles southeast of the Manila capital, last week. The volcanic activity increased in the following days, with Mayan spewing incandescent lava at night and causing tremors to neighboring villages. By Wednesday, June 14, some 17,000 people were evacuated, including those within its 6-kilometer dangerous perimeter. National volcanologists have predicted that hazardous, eruptive activity could be imminent in weeks or days. The Philippines is no stranger to volcanic activity in the seismologically active Pacific Ring of Fire. In 1991, the violent eruption of Mount Pinatubo in Zambales killed some 700 people, outnumbering casualties from Mount St. Helens eruption in Washington state in 1985. And in 2020, tall volcano ejected tall columns of volcanic ash that reached as far as the country's capital, forcing its airports to close and exposing residents to harmful particulates. But compared to these precedents, Mayan recently has shown some peculiar activity that may signal a gentler eruption, says Ma. Antonia Bornas, the chief of the Volcanology Institute's Monitoring and Eruption Prediction Division, levels of sulfur dioxide, which is typically released when magma is near the surface, is currently in the hundreds of tons, and volcanoes usually release at least thousands of tons of the gas before an explosive eruption. We're not seeing any volcanic activity, Bornas tells Time. If you look at the seismic energy of the volcano, the way it charts, since a few months ago until now, it's practically the same. Still, that's no reason to be complacent. For today, the chances of an explosive eruption are quite low, she says. But tomorrow might be a different story.